So we went on our first ever cruise, a transatlantic trip that lasted 16 nights aboard the Island Princess, which took us through some unique bucket list destinations. But as we'd never done this before, we didn't know what to expect. Were cruises just for old people, or people who want to drink and party, or old people who want to drink and party? In this video, we'll share the start of our journey and first impressions. Let's go. We began our trip in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, where we boarded our new home for over two weeks. Princess Cruises, Island Princess. The boarding process itself seemed kind of daunting, and as we'd not checked in online until the day before, we were in the last boarding group. But this was actually a bit of a blessing in disguise because it meant that there were no lines or waiting around. We simply handed over our luggage, showed our documents, and we were given our oh so important princess medallions. From there, all was left to do was to walk aboard. We were simultaneously hungry, curious, and tired, but we knew our first stop had to be to get to our cabin. We had an ocean view cabin on deck five, which offers us a decent view of the vast ocean. Now, obviously this cabin wasn't huge, but it had been designed quite thoughtfully. We felt like we had ample space to move around, relax, and store our clothes. We were already excited for our itinerary, which included stops in Canada and Iceland. Soon we'll be releasing videos of these destinations, so be sure to hit the notification bell and stay tuned so you don't miss them. Good morning. <laughs> so how was your first ever night sleeping on a boat? Uh, I think because I ate a lot <laughs> for dinner, I struggled a little bit in the beginning because it's like kind of moving a bit, a little bit more. But after the first, I think hour or two was fine. It's pretty choppy. We're just off the coast of Florida, and there's been some storms, and so we were going through them. Actually, we could see lightning out our window. But for me, it like rocked us. Like a little rocking bed, putting us to sleep. I, I was fine. And plus the fact that we have no reason to wake up early. Oof, how long do we sleep? Like nine, ten hours? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we've looked here, we were trying to figure out what we want to do because we want to take advantage of the things that we can do here and we found that we get stressed and bored if we don't stay organized, so. Uh, we go, we're going to watch a solar system presentation. presentation and then I'm going to have breakfast. And then I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to relax a little bit after breakfast. Yeah, relax time. a little bit, go to the gym, uh, go to afternoon tea, and then go to the pool. And dinner. One of the only things we've booked these first two days has been this afternoon tea. Now, B and I are afternoon tea connoisseurs, right? Yeah. Right? <laughs> we know our afternoon tea, we know our sandwiches, we know our cakes. We're going to see if this gets our approval. Find out. Stay tuned. <laughs> Vegetarian options are, are lacking. Now there was no upcharge for this afternoon tea, but I do think it was a little bit lacking. The cakes and pastries that we could have had access to all day upstairs were of the same standard, if not a little bit better, and the vegetarian options were seriously lacking, so much so that we decided to go upstairs for some okay. pizza. There wasn't enough <laughs> pizza time. And then since we we're already on the pool deck and off the coast of Florida, we decided to take advantage of the beautiful weather. We also got to take advantage of the waves that were outside of the boat that rocked it and gave us our own mini natural wave pool. I honestly never expected to see something like this on our cruise. Okay, here we are now getting ready for dinner and I've noticed this. 
that tonight is formal night. We recommend evening attire or cocktail dresses for women. We recommend tuxedos, dinner jackets, or dark suits with attire for men. This is our attempt. <laughs> it's not quite a black tie. We look good though, right? But yeah. it's not formal. Would you accept this at your wedding or at any formal event? Let us know in the comments. Oh my God. We're not formal at all. <laughs> <laughs> so we just find out we were, we were just too late for champagne. <laughs> There, is, <laughs> there isn't any champagne left, so <laughs> I guess we're gonna go for dinner. First rule of buffet, salad. And I we got told we look nice. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna get burger because it's a nice burger night. Our veggie burgers are here, what they think? Yeah, they had a station that only had chicken and beef burgers. But you asked, yeah. can we have a veggie burger? And they were like, ah, oh, sorry, we haven't got it. But then the chef heard you ask, and he, I saw him talking with the guy, and he was like, no, oh, we can arrange it for them. They've done really good, really, so far. Yeah. Accommodating us very well. Yeah, look at this. Mia said she wants to try <laughs> all of these different desserts. It is a bread uh, pudding, I think. Bread and butter pudding. Yeah, we've, uh, this is a red velvet. Never had before, so. This is strawberry panna cotta and this is a flourless cake, chocolate cake, so I'm very excited to try all of it. Looks like <laughs> the food is your favourite part of this crew so far. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> By far. So that is our formal night, our first formal night on the Island Princess done and dusted. We wanted to get back to the cabin nice and early so we could watch a movie in bed and relax. <laughs> We're going to watch this movie and then go to bed. Good night. Good morning. morning. We are walking up the stairs to the very top. One of our rules that we thought about when coming on this cruise was that we should try and get as many steps in as possible. So the way we're gonna do that is by basically never taking the lift, always taking the stairs. Isn't really what you wanna do when you sleep on deck five and most things are on deck 14 but it's our morning routine right yeah. <laughs> someone's not feeling very good <laughs> we're here at breakfast first rule of buffet is salad of course and then uh, a little bit of salad. What's that? What you got there? We got a lot of veggies, beans, potato, and I asked for I asked for ice crumble tofu, and they gave me they gave me ice crumble eggs with tofu. So <laughs> I think they didn't get the point, but well. We'll have, have this for now, and then we'll uh, adjust next time. Yeah. But they came because when I showed up, they were like, oh. I saw it because I asked yesterday about it, and, uh, and they said, oh, I saw we've got the tofu ready. So I was hoping. Next time. After breakfast, we had scheduled in to play some chess, but too much thinking and too much concentrating actually hurt our brains because at this point, the ship was swaying quite a lot. And as I had felt in the gym, I started to feel majorly sick. So all we could do instead was relax. Pasta night, but the pasta options are garlic and oil and chicken. So we went and made it biryani. Did you get any biryani? Yeah, no, I got a biryani. Tiny bit of biryani. Tiny biryani here. But yeah, we got a good mix of everything. Very excited. <laughs> come back to our room uh, after dinner and they've come in actually was the bed already made no uh, it, wasn't yeah, it was made, amazing like yeah we've got a reminder to set our clock an hour forward this is an event invitation of some sort this is feedback for our first impressions which we'll give to you tomorrow and then 
this is the itinerary of all the things that you can choose to do tomorrow. So we, as a good nerds, can organize ourselves. <laughs> yeah, it's good for us, yeah. We so know. we've been on this boat for two days now. What are your first impressions? Uh, just everything is very clean and very organized. And because of so many people here, I wasn't sure that actually how it was going to be. But really, they do an impressive job of making everything so clean and organized. And not even seeing people cleaning. Yeah, there's no They're trash maintained. either. There's yeah. no bins anywhere. Like, no, nothing visible. You stay kind of in vacation mode because you don't even have to ever worry about any sort of dirt or trash, which is, yeah, which is cool. And along those lines, like, they come into this room twice a day, every single day. To me, that's a, I mean, it's, it's nice, but for, it's just, for us, yeah. it's not necessary. It's probably over it's the top, so it's, we'll give our guy a bit of time off. But also, I think about the trash. They don't use anything like paper or plastic so they use everything they use is like reusable like yeah. cups and everything also this helps for it doesn't have too many trashes around or yeah yeah definitely and you need a lot of napkins because we knew this coming in but the sheer amount of food is it's getting overwhelming to be honest <laughs> like because there's a buffet for three meals a day always with very impressive food but a good variety of food even for us as people that don't eat meat or seafood or anything like that it's still they still have a big variety of food and you want to sample a little bit and a little bit of that and a little bit of this and that adds up and it's like also because it's all good food it's also quite calorie dense it's like yeah. cooked it cooked very well with lots of uh, butter or oil and that is, again overwhelming is what i said and it's probably true um, not just the buffets because you've also got the pizza the place. Pizza place, we got ice cream place, we got a place just for burger. You can and get tacos. room service. We can get room service with a little bit of different things. We can also do food, like the French, I think, restaurant in and Italian. And an afternoon one. tea that we did. We, when I've worked as a nutrition advisor, one of the things that you say are, oh, you, you know, you're not, you're not hungry, you're bored, and and like when you're on a boat there's always food available so you can always eat and it's always good so it's just something that we've got to keep in check for the rest of this cruise uh, there's another thing i thought was very impressive is everybody here is like amazingly friendly like it's not just because of the tips yeah, yeah. they actually are very very nice and helpful like we could ask them anything they would help and try and help it something um, that we're gonna have to try and do to get more vegetarian food over the course of the cruise i think they're also from everywhere in the world yeah. as well so it's cool to see all the different people and, and it says on their little name badge where they're from or their name and where they're from so that's cool and it, and it makes it a real sort of global uh, traveling experience yeah right thing i wanted to say was that we've come on this cruise and everyone that we've told about that we're doing our very first cruise of 16 days which is like a long time to spend on a boat people somewhat think that you're gonna get bored and whilst that might be the case there is a lot to do but there's also a lot to enjoying not doing anything if that makes sense so it's it's, it's sort of both sides of the coin you can do lots of stuff you can occupy your time but you can also just not do anything and that's also cool and it's not like they're the most amazingly entertaining activities, they're just stuff to get through. And, and probably because Princess Cruises is geared to slightly older people, they might be things that these people find fun, but we're quite happy passing the time to ourselves without doing too many of the activities. We went to one of the astronomy lectures, which was pretty cool in the theater, that was cool. The afternoon tea, like, there's lots of things to do, and it, but it's not like you're going to get overwhelmed with all the activities that you've got to do or you're going to have an overly stimulated time just relax and enjoy yeah. the we, cruise we also bought some like games and stuff we, we thought like books and everything and till now yeah, yeah i downloaded three yeah. different books in my kindle and i've read <laughs> half know, of like one five. of them yeah yeah <laughs> but we are gonna stay for like a five yeah. days on the boat so we'll probably end up getting through some of that there's everything but we're not bored right now we're looking forward to our first stop in Halifax in Canada. We're looking forward to getting all the way across to the UK. We're looking forward to the food and the journey that's gonna take us there as well. So we'll, we'll do another video of these. If you enjoy and liked this video, please subscribe, hit the like button. It will help out so much. We're trying to grow this channel and please 
comment below anything you would like to see from us or just comment below if you have been of this place if you agree or disagree subscribe to see more information as to how we start to slowly deteriorate over the course of the next two weeks on this ship i think we see you in the next one